we got the memo. Look, we're matching. Oh, look at us. <laughs> doing so good. How you doing, Nancy? I'm doing great. I was super excited for this show when it mm -hmm. ended and then now getting to speak to you. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm so glad to be back on the air with season two. We're coming out with the bang with Mary Kingstown. And I, I watched episode one the other night. I was like, ah, oh, we're off to a great start. And I already saw two. Did you see you see more than I have? Yes, I had to. I had to because I was going to speak to you. And oh my gosh, what a journey. I mean, we ended season one. I was at the edge of my seat. And right. now I'm at the depth of my sofa because I'm just like so scared for everybody and what's going on in their lives after the whole turmoil. Talk about yeah, your they, Yeah, they, they really set up um, this this season really well with that first episode. You really get to understand the consequences of the riot and the fallout that each one of these characters is going to have to go through. Uh, and, you know, specifically with my character, um, you know, season two picks up three to four weeks after the prison riot. And my character, Kyle, has just gone through such a traumatic event being, you know, in the in the underbelly of, of the prison. And he hasn't examined any of that. In fact, he's just gone straight to to work and taking the job with the Michigan State Police where he finds himself in really trippy situations. It's a whole other world. The the scene, I guess we could talk about the first episode where on the boat, he's like in this mentality about, you know, drugs and all the bad stuff that he's dealing with. And then he comes to a surprise that it's the total opposite. Yeah, he has this idea of 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 you know this of what's actually going down on the lake, and he thinks you know he thinks it's one thing, and it turns out to be another. And it's and then he he sees the 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 inner workings. In fact, I was just talking about this. He's got this you know this idea, this big idea of right and wrong, and he is just trying to you know do the right thing, and yet he's completely off base. And when he realizes that it's just a maple syrup situation <laughs> he really starts to see the the minutia of it and, he, and and realize that gosh it's just like everybody's human and everybody's just trying to like you know survive at this at this point now based on what i saw for the second episode i feel like kyle i think your your character is one of those where it's gonna hit really a low point um but at the same time has to struggle to keep it together because I mean, he has a family, he's going to be a dad. Yeah. And that, yeah, that, and that, that's the, that's the, the balancing act that he tries to balance. I mean, that, that's, that's the issue. Kyle's got some, some, some serious, un, you know, trauma that he hasn't dealt with. And yet he has this wonderful full life and because he just keeps deferring examining the trauma and breaking it down and processing it and grieving properly it's affecting his his whole life that he has and um you know and and, and that's such a that's such a great thing to play as an actor because there's just there's just so much push and pull and being able to go to those emotional depths is just really something that you couldn't ask for more as as an actor artist you know performer and now this is a Taylor Sheridan project, which everything he touches is just like phenomenal. So how Great. do you feel as an actor, as Taylor, this working in this project like this has challenged you as an actor, pushed your limit? The thing about this show that I love so much is I love, first of all, I, I, I've told Taylor this. I'd said, you know, you're the number one guy I want to work for. I've been a fan of yours since I've seen Sicario, Hell or High Water, Wind River, through Yellowstone. I'm a fan of all his stuff. And getting to create in his universe on one of his shows is such an honor because they really celebrate. And, well, well Taylor really writes for his characters. And, and I've said it before. I'll say it again. Um, you know, he has a formula that he follows, but it's not formulaic. It truly is character driven, right? And I think audiences are so smart nowadays that they want to take the journey with the characters. And Taylor has just masterfully set us up for season two that, you know, you really get to, you really get to 
feel what they're feeling. And um, I already got a sense of that uh, watching episode one, you know, I'm so invested. Um, but yeah, but, but going back to your original question, I'd say that um, working with him is such a blessing because you know that the work you do is going to be edited post-production like you're on a winning team so you know that the work you're going to do is going to be seen right and you get to do great work but then the final product is going to come out so well and that's the best thing uh you know working with the taylor sheridan uh universe and what can you say about kyle working back again with mike and that that team is there a good chance I th yeah, absolutely. There's a there's a great chance. Um, there's a great chance of that. <laughs> That's what I could say. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he belongs out there. I think he belongs with that team. It, it it doesn't seem to be working out for him out there. Uh, you know, he he's got this idea of you know what it should be, and he just keeps getting disappointed. And as you'll see in episode two, or as you've already seen, and I haven't seen it yet, but. Uh, uh, things get uh, get very hairy. What I like about the show also is that you it kind of shows that we cannot always walk a straight line. Sometimes mm. you got to, you know, kind of go on the dark side to overcome and get to the good side. I agree. I think that that's what's so fascinating to watch. Uh, you know, that's what's so fascinating to watch, like, come through this show. Uh, I prefer anti-heroes and watching characters that have to deal in the gray uh because there's a humanness about that um you know right and wrong isn't always so clear you know it it, it really comes down to uh situ by, situation by situation and it, and i think that that's what this show examines really well now, what are you, have you been taking away from getting to work with Jeremy and getting to work with Diane? I mean, people that have been around for a very long time. Yeah, working with them is, it's like taking uh, a master class, really, because you're, you know, in it, you know, when, you, when, when you're essentially scene partners and you're working together in the scene and the other person is so invested and especially, you know, well, not especially, but specifically when I'm talking about Jeremy, the man cannot like say an untruthful piece of dialogue. Like he, he, he embodies the truth. He embodies his character as well as Diane. I mean, it, Oh my gosh. I, I'm just, I'm just thinking about the both of them. I watched this scene the two of them had this uh, season and it was like, I was glued to the screens, like watching both of them in a scene is um, it's, it's like a masterclass, but getting to work with them, they make me a better actor. I learned so much from them. And so I'm, 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 I'm so grateful to, uh, to have them to work with. Well, I am grateful. I got to speak to you today. Like I said, I was super excited, super stoked. And um, I will continue to wait for the rest of the season. <laughs> I know. I don't want to wait. I just want to binge it all right now. You're I don't, as, as, as crazy as Kingstown is, as violent as it is, I'm really loving uh, the humanness of the characters this season. I, I, I want to go on the ride with these characters and I want to watch it all right now. I don't want to leave Kingstown because it is just, it's like every, like, you know, every corner you turn around, you never know what you're going to get. Exactly. Well, for, for, to start with, start requesting the second episode. Yeah. You finish today. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. I'll have to send it right over. <laughs> All right. Well, you take care and thank you so much. I love speaking with you. All right. Thanks, Nancy. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.